so the bees have calmed down a lot uh, but uh, I don't know if we're quite there yet we've got but there's still a lot of bees in there they're supposed to be gone by now I put this on about three o'clock two yeah two o'clock so I think I might leave those on just a little bit longer and uh, kind of let everything cool off before maybe when it gets dark the bees will go back to the hive till then I'm going to do some propagating Ooh, these dahlias are awesome there's a big kelvin bigger than my hand more Kelvins down here. I don't know. I remember what this one is. It's got a really cool uh, two-tone look. And then uh, we got the figs doing really well, but I don't see any figs. Maybe they are later. So dahlias are just starting to pop. There's a big Kelvin, and this guy, this thing is crazy. Ah, I keep breaking it every time I touch this thing. Look at that thing, that is crazy. That's an Arabian night back there. Don't know what this one is, but I like it. Some more cactus. This one's almost yellow. Nothing yet. Brazilian verbena is doing well. So I saw one of my hydrangeas getting ready to flower. Actually, I had, had some blooms on it. I think it's a firelight, but I uh, didn't want to wait too much longer before I got some propagation done. So I took a bunch of staves and we'll see what we can get done if I can keep these moist. Seems to be my problem keeping everything from drying out before it can grow roots. So again, what I always do with these, I cut them just uh, just before the, the the next node, and obviously that one's going to be trash. Take off those two, cut it above the nodes, and then you've got your you're cutting with your nodes down here. Cut your leaves in half so you don't have too much transpiration. And that is a good cutting as far as I'm concerned. These last ones, you cut the very top off so it doesn't want to keep growing up. And it'll focus that energy on hopefully your uh, growing roots. So I'm using a little bit different hormone today. It's the Clonex gel. I don't like it as much. Um, I've always used the Hormadin 3, Hormadin 2 actually, and that just kills it. Um, I bought this just to experiment. Experiments haven't been great. So, or nothing, uh, nothing quite as successful as the Hormadin. So. But I got it here, so we'll see how it goes. Kind of just wanted to get something in before August. I always wait so long on this stuff. So embarrassing. I didn't really like this hydrangea when I bought it, but uh, it looks pretty good right now. So. Enough for me to want to drop everything on a Friday night and propagate it. Actually, everybody had stuff going on, so I didn't really have anything else to do other than wait for the bees to go away, which they seem to slowly be moving out of the frames, but I don't know if I'm going to take them inside tonight or leave them in a breezeway, but 
we're not going to want bees in our house when we extract the honey, so. A lot of people use go-to nodes on, uh, on their cutting, but uh, I've just got the one node down here and then the, the top one with the leaves. So I'm kind of, I want to get as many out of a plant as I can. And sometimes that's good, sometimes it's not. At the end, occasionally I'll go two nodes, one, two, rather than waste it. So. And then when I pull these out, I can tell which ones grew with the roots and which ones did not. So I can get all this done in like 15 minutes, which is nice because uh, that's all I got. So I'm going to try to get on those ones with two nodes, I'm going to try to get both of them. I think I use way too much goo on this, but and I do use a dibbler. I've already pre-wet the sand. Yeah, it's not gonna go below the two nodes. So I've already pre-wet the sand. This is just playground sand and uh, a little sand out of uh, like a kick kickboxing thing that we don't haven't used. Got room for more. I think that's it tonight. So you can't have a propagation video without uh, seeing some roots. So I just pulled these out of some sand right here, and uh, it was actually dried out. And I thought they were everything else was pretty much dead. These were still green. So I poured water in it and got some pretty awesome roots. This is a this is like a trumpet a vine we got from our uh, I thought I got it from I thought it was a honeysuckle from my grandma's but uh, this is actually from our friend's house. We were at a party and I, I've wanted one of these trumpet vines forever and saw it growing on the fence and I was like, can I, can I take a few cuttings? And she was like, what? But she's nice enough to say yes. And we got my first trumpet vine. So actually there's three of them. These aren't as, as good. They're still green, which means they're good. They're gonna work for me. We've got just the callus or small roots on them right now. So uh, two, three, uh, and then four there. So let's go do some bees. You're on camera. Anybody's 
out to see me. I guess I don't need my veil on yet. I mean, we have a complete wuss. That thing's awesome. So here is the fume board. Still a lot of bees. So I'm gonna take these where they will be. I have a better night. Yeah, that looks all capped. Awesome. A lot of these bees got squished though. And I don't know how not to do that. It's like the worst feeling. Kind of made it. So here is the uh, four supers, super heavy with a uh, fume board, and I put more more scent on that. So we'll see how that goes. So tomorrow we're going we're going to extract honey. It sounds like. And have baseball games and everything else on a Saturday, but uh, look at this sunset. Wow. Such a pretty spot. So again, we got our strong hive. Less strong, but pretty uh, pretty good production out of both. Um, new supers that went on our second one down on each, and the old ones are on top. These are both a top uh, for comb honey, and that one is capped. That one is filled, but not quite capped. So again, this one's a little behind this guy. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see if they're able to make comb. And this is the uh, end of July, so we'll see if they'll be able, able to make comb in in these bottom ones. I don't have any foundation or anything, so top ones actually had wax foundation to start uh, for that comb that we'll punch out. This one is just frames. So I'm going to see if. 
the way I set up the frames with that line down the, the uh, or that runner down the top uh, encourages them to, to kind of build the comb or if they'll build the comb the wrong way and have a huge mess I guess but so we might put this uh, video out tonight just as a quick update on what, what's going on in the garden but uh, we got a pretty awesome night it's gonna be like 60 degrees tonight I think so maybe we'll get some mulch done tomorrow I don't know